Hey folks, this is Best and Slot, and in tonight's video, we're gonna check out the full official trailer for Forgotten Bloodlines Agat, or Argot if you're that way inclined. A phenomenal looking paleo documentary. It's got Nigel Marvin narrating, and in today's trailer, you're gonna see a huge number of new species we've not seen before. Really just lovingly brought to life in sound and design and animation and lighting and everything. It just looks so cool. Very excited to show you that in just a few minutes. But the reason the trailer has launched is because they now have a brand new Kickstarter. You know, this is an indie project. They need money to get this thing off the ground. So we're going to dig briefly into the Kickstarter before we dive into the trailer. And this is where we're at so far. Seven and a half thousand pounds out of 62,000, essentially. Only launched yesterday. Long time to go still. Plenty of time to get your money in, to get your backing in. And we'll, uh, we'll talk briefly about the rewards as well as to why exactly you should back and at what level you should maybe be consider backing. But why are they running a Kickstarter in the first place? Well, as I say, it is of course an indie project. It's a fan inverted commas project made by people who just wanted this kind of documentary to exist and wanted another Nigel Marvin paleo documentary and who doesn't want that? If the Kickstarter, I believe, is fully funded at a normal level, as in it gets to that 62,000 or whatever it was, uh, it will produce the pilot episode of Forgotten Bloodlines. If we hit some stretch goals, they'll then be able to produce further episodes. There's three episodes planned at this point in time, but even just managing that initial full pilot episode will, of course, mean they can ship it around to publishers and potential partners, and it does a lot of good for them as a uh, group of people. So if you've got any spare funds, definitely consider throwing it their way. But what level would you back at? What level makes the most sense to back at? Let's take a look at some of the possible rewards you could get. Because yeah, it's great to support a cause and support paleo documentary and support science communication. These are all fantastic things. But you know, you want some stuff. People love stuff, especially for their money. So let's take a little look here. The basic lower pledge levels, seven and ten dollars, are both fantastic. Ten dollars you know, couple of coffees or whatever, you not only get your name in the films as a backer, your name would be on this fantastic documentary seen by thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. They'll always have your name there for the rest of time. But a few more quid and you'll get early access to watch Forgotten Bloodlines before the regular punters, before the nobodies, you know, you can get in nice and early. And that's a really low pledge level. So this will be, if you're a little bit tight, because times are tough for people at the moment, this is a really good stage to jump in on. If you want to go a little bit higher, the digital art book for me, I think is one of the more tempting rewards here. A little bit more expensive at 25 quid, $30 or so. But you get to see behind the scenes of the film, how it was all made, all the evidence, all the science has gone into it, as well as concept art and the 3D design process. It's really exciting. And finally, if you want to push it a little bit further, and this is the tier I've gone personally for, at $50 or 42 quid, you get a signed physical print of your size and image of your choosing. You have to pay for shipping and get your own frame, but that'll be a really nice but that'll be a really nice token of the film, something physical you've got there forever. There's more rewards, you can get some 3D printed models and stuff like that. If you go for the utterly crazy thousand dollar reward, you can actually put an Easter egg off your choosing, probably not completely off your choosing, but of some description into the film. But these are all pretty solid bases depending on which uh, amount you've got so far. And if you want to do a little bit more, there's, uh, as I say, 3D models you can get. You can get 3D printed things. You can get the, uh, the files to print things yourself if you happen to be a 3D printer. Anyways, that's enough chit chat chatting. The trailer is absolutely beautiful stuff. I'm going to play it for you right now. Definitely check it out. If you like the look of it and you've got a few quid, chuck it on the Kickstarter, support these very talented people, and hopefully we can get ourselves a fantastic looking paleo documentary. Okay, enjoy. Twenty million years ago, the beginning of the Miocene Epoch. Although seemingly familiar, this is a world of wonder, mystery and danger. From tiny rhinos, the size of dogs, to bizarre horse-like giants, with claws instead of hooves, and a pig-like behemoth with jaws that could crush bone. A world forgotten to time, never seen by the eyes of man until now.
This is the incredible story of two of America's most astounding bygone beasts. Step back into an ancient world, Forgotten Bloodlines Agate. Please support us on Kickstarter, now live. <laughs>